All right, customer states that uh, this doesn't light up. We're gonna turn those on. Still not illuminated. We're gonna max out interior. Still not illuminated. So I, I question if uh, this might have been put, pulled up. And I was preparing my test light with a cigarette light adapter and I noted that that doesn't light up the fuse is good and my test light adapter works there so possibility of this being pulled up and not, pl not, not plugged in and something unplugged down here exists okay doke so I pulled up the cover pulled this up and we're checking on our wiring right here uh, these are LEDs, and I doubt that they're running on 12 volts. It could be 5 volts, but nonetheless, um, try the wiggle test. Fails. I can use my incandescent test light here because it is rated for that voltage, and we do have power going there. Let's see if we got ground. And we got ground. Great. So we have a problem with this circuit board right here, and um, it could be the surface mount LED. I'm going to try and just warm up the solder joint right quick and see if that's a problem because I've seen it before. Okay, so I just did a quick re-solder re on the surface mount LED pins. It's not as bright as the other one, so I'm going to try one more time okay we are all fixed to go the LED was just off the surface mount location just enough to where it wasn't making any more contact I will tell you if you are gonna make this repair let me just go right here if you are going to attempt to mess the surface mount first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you you heat up the solder points with liquid solder flux and then you do not after you're done you have to clean it with solder flux cleaner do not use brake cleaner uh, secondly is you heat up one spot until this boils you remove you let it cool and then the other side if you do it all at once you can actually move it off the spot 